Climate change is the defining issue of our generation. This is the biggest problem humanity faces today, is bottom line. The world as we know it is going to completely change if we don't address climate change. We're very close to a tipping point in terms of this planet's ability to continue to be resilient in a way in which we can live comfortably on it. Every year we don't get our hands around it is, is much more difficult because it's a cumulative problem. The ounce of prevention, it's a, it's a lot better than the pound of cure. We came to climate because we recognized that it was a, uh, an existential problem, it was a systemic problem, and that it wasn't simply affecting you know, spotted owls and polar bears, but, but, but humans. Healthy families and food security and public health, all of those human-centric issues rely on a healthy environment. We're talking about agriculture, we're talking about fisheries, all going down the drain more rapidly. Storms made worse, more intense, more frequent by climate change. The health systems put under pressure by climate change. Food systems put under pressure by climate change. In developing countries, they'll tell you they already see the impact. Poor countries are disproportionately being impacted even though they weren't the cause of the problem. And so this is also a moral issue. This is a dramatic challenge for us, but with every challenge comes opportunity. And what I see today is that we have an opportunity to drive solutions on the table that we have never had before. There are a lot of voices now that are focused on a broad array of different things that would encompass climate and clean energy. It's very important to think about it, not in a monolithic way, but holistically. Renewable investments are, are scaling, and now solar and wind are cheaper than coal. Local communities demanding that their health be protected, states working together to build constituencies for both mitigation and adapting to the challenges of climate change. Communication is the name of the game. Persuade the voters, persuade the politicians, uh, persuade corporations that this is an important issue. There are so many things that are, are great breakthroughs that are happening. I have never felt as optimistic as I have today about the ways that people can solve the problem. Philanthropy has a, a very important role to play uh, in addressing climate change. What I've seen philanthropy do well throughout my career on all kinds of issues is movement build, institution build, um, do the unfashionable thing before it gets fashionable, make long-term bets. The philanthropic community can do a lot in, in the policy framework and also investing in what I call the goose that lays the golden egg, which is new ideas, new technologies, innovations. We know the kinds of policies that work. We know the technologies we need. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Philanthropy has played a pivotal role in getting us where we are and is necessary to take us the rest of the way home. Without the philanthropy, I don't think government alone is going to help do it. I don't think academia alone is going to do it. Less than 1% of philanthropic money is going into climate change, of which half is in the US, even though the US is only 20% of global emissions. So we need to see a, a massive uh, step up in philanthropic giving. It's a complex problem and a, and a difficult puzzle to figure out and different people need to be working on different pieces of the puzzle. There may be other issues where you don't need to collaborate because you might have a reasonable chance of uh, solving a particular problem. Yourself, uh, climate is not one of them. If we all act independently and duplicate each other's effort and learning and mistakes, it's a shocking waste we can't afford. Let's build on each other's understanding and be willing to take risks and, and most of all, collaborate. Everybody needs to be in on this. There's an enormous opportunity to actually be a very big part of uh, a good news story on a scale that we've never seen before. We have the chance to actually do something that will actually make the lives of billions of people better as a result. The time is now to invest because we really can't take more time to fail to drive solutions we have available. We really need uh, other philanthropists to come in and increase the effort. It is hard, um, but uh, not much that's really worth doing isn't.